everyone, welcome back to Gracie Mae's Tarot. So today we're gonna to be looking at, is this connection true love? Okay, so I'm not gonna define what true love is. You can kind of make that decision for yourself. So if true love to you means a soulmate, or if true love means your twin flame, or if true love just means, you know, the person you're really compatible with that you want to marry, that's okay. Also, I'm sorry if you hear the mail truck outside. Um, there is a little bit of noise in the background. Also, my cat is running around, but what else is new? Um, I haven't been having the best day, so if I'm a little bit low energy, I apologize, but I really wanted to film this today, and honestly, usually after I film a video, I feel really great, so I thought this would be helpful for me too. But anyway, just try to focus on the groups. Imagine your person in your head um, or their name if you're not visual, their face, whatever. And then you can select your group. So we've got three groups to choose from. So our first group, we've got Cranberry Harvest Tea. For our second group, we have Earl Grey Black Tea. And for Pile 3, we've got Peppermint Herbal Tea. So take a moment, pause the video, meditate on the groups. Like I said, um, really try to think of your person. And then the timestamps are listed below in the description box, just like always. And I will see you guys in your reading. All right, all my pile ones who chose the Cranberry Harvest Tea, welcome to your reading. So for you all, is this connection with this person true love? We got a big yes. So I'm very excited for you all that this came out. Um, I wanted to start with these oracle cards because they give pretty direct answers. And so the fact that you all got yes is obviously off to the best start possible. We are gonna get some more information about this connection, but yes, this is true love. For many of you, this is really new love. Okay, so it could be that you have a crush on this person, you've never been with them romantically before, or for those of you who are asking about an ex, if you're asking about an ex, this person is really coming back completely changed. Like they have, they have got to have gone through a major transformation for us to have the full card here, okay? And could be for you as well, that you resonate with that, that you have also been through what you would consider to be a major transformation because this is completely new. This is a complete fresh start in this connection. If it is a past person that you're asking about, um, or even if this is someone that you didn't date before, but you were friends or they were an old acquaintance and you're asking about them now, a complete and total fresh start. This person has changed a lot, and honestly, I suspect that you have too, okay? Um, but anyway, for most of you though, this is a new person entirely, because we have a lot of fresh, new energy. But I will say, with the way that she's standing in the rain and the way that she's looking out, I will say that um, for those of you who chose this group, it could be that even though we got the straight yes in the beginning, for many of you, you came to this reading because you were very confused. You know, if you're drawn to a reading like this, obviously there's going to be some question or doubt or maybe curiosity at least. Um, but for many of you, this is my group where with the water coming down, you know, with water, I think of cups, I think of emotion. You've either been hurt really bad in the past with love or you have, um, you know, come from a family where love maybe wasn't expressed in a healthy way or there was just a lot of issues around attachment and expression of emotion and, you know, and that has caused you issues as an adult, like in your romantic life. But, you know, for many of you, there's just been a deep history, you know, really of pain and hurt and heartbreak and you're sort of looking out into the water, looking out into the mist here, looking out into the storm, and kind of feeling like, where's my safe haven? When is this going to pass? You know, when am I going to get through this storm? And there's a lot of uncertainty here, but the fact that you're still looking signifies hope, right? And signifies a willing to brave the storm, a willingness 
to open yourself up to heartbreak again because you understand that in order to receive love, in order to truly, truly open yourself up to true love, <laughs> truly, 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 <laughs> sorry guys, but in order to open yourself up to real love, um, you know, you have to be willing to risk getting your heart broken, right? Because the only way to experience true love is to be emotionally vulnerable, okay? And, and you have a willingness to do that, which is why I think that the universe is allowing you or providing you the opportunity to connect with someone that will, you know, share in true love with you, that will be that partner that you've been hoping that you've been wishing for. Now, with the Three of Cups here, the Three of Hearts, I definitely feel like you could have mutual friends in common with this person. They could be a close friend of yours even, or that you'll meet them or connect with them in a pretty public space. There's going to be other people around, even if it's just going over to a mutual friend's house and you, and you link up there, or a family barbecue, something like that. That could be a possibility. Um, I'm also seeing too, there's just a lighthearted energy here. Like after all this pain, like I said, having this fresh energy come through, this is someone that you're going to feel very happy, very lighthearted. Um, you're gonna celebrate a lot. And even just the small milestones, you're gonna celebrate it with this person. It's gonna feel like a big deal as you advance through the stages of you know falling in love with this person and entering into a partnership with them because they are such a fresh start, such a departure from all of this like past hurt that either you or them or both of you have experienced. Um, and then I will say too, here with the um, four of clubs here, all of these like fancy hats also make me think of like going out together, having experiences, going out on nice dates, feeling like, you know, you're being treated to something nice and you get to share in like all of these really cool experiences with this person. And I also feel like there's also again that echoing of celebration. I think also a possibility here for marriage, um, just because we have all of these, um, you know, like I said, dress attire. And I think also if you do end up being in a long-term relationship with this person, this also signifies to me that you will have a lot of material comfort. Um, there will be a lot of financial stability there. All right, let's see what else we have. So we have smell the roses, girl. Stop and smell the roses. Don't forget to see the beauty beyond your ambitious ambitions and enjoy those little things in your life. So I feel like this is just a message. By the way, you don't have to be a, a female watching this reading. Um, always, always look at energy and this oracle deck always addresses as if it's talking to a female. So just leave that if you're a male, ignore that part of it. Um, but anyway, this is just encouraging you to really, like I said, enjoy those small moments with this person, but also don't neglect other areas of your life. So it's very easy when we meet someone that we really, truly romantically connect with, especially since this is true love, um, it's very easy to neglect other areas of your life. So this is just a gentle warning from your guides to please make sure you're not neglecting your friends, your family, you know, your work, your educational goals, whatever the case may be, you know, your personal self-care, your alone time, your hobbies, your passions. No, don't make this connection your whole entire life. Still try to retain that balance. Yes, what was I just saying about balance? Stay grounded, take a step back and be fu fully conscious in the present moment to align your soul to your true self and help you control your emotions. So I think also, this is a big change, right? Like this is a lot of new, fresh energy and it may be a bit like, oh my gosh, I got this person, you know, especially if you were trying to manifest them or you prayed for a connection like this and now all of a sudden you have it. There may be a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of overwhelming feelings of, 
oh my gosh, I, I feel so lucky to have this person in my life. What if I lose them? Or what if they leave me? Or what if things don't work out? Or you know how your mind starts to go. So it's just encouraging you, you know, if meditation isn't your thing, there are other ways to get grounded. You know, it can be as simple as taking a walk outside, um, reading a book if that's something you like to do, um, calling up a friend, whatever helps you stay grounded. And just do that, even if it's just, you know, laying down and taking a nap even. Okay, and it says waiting. While you're waiting, ask yourself if they're really worth your time and risking out on missing other amazing people. Now, this is a really specific, specific message, okay? Some of you are really hung up on an ex-partner. And maybe you came to this reading thinking about that person your ex, I mean, but also thinking about a new crush. And maybe you were a little bit torn. This is saying, ask yourself if your ex is worth waiting for, or if that other person who's caught your eye is worth more of your attention. So, like I said, that's a very specific message. That's not going to resonate for everyone who chose this group. But it's just saying if you are thinking about an ex, are they worth your time? Because it could be for some of you that your ex is not your true love, okay? It's someone else. But that only re that will only resonate with people who came to this reading with two people in mind instead of just one, okay? So like I said in the beginning, some of you are trying to manifest your ex and you both have gone through a transformation and they are actually your true love. For others of you who came to this reading thinking about an ex but also thinking about someone else, this is your message. And it's not really telling you one way or another, it's just asking you to consider your options. Okay, and then we have special event. Okay, what was I saying? There's gonna be, with that four pentacles, there's gonna be a lot of cause to celebrate. And it could be, like I said, that you will be either you know meeting up with this person or really developing a close connection with them during some sort of celebration special event okay so it says fate will play a role in your love life pay attention to the people who come into your life unexpectedly stay curious and keep exploring so for some of you you know you have your eye on this person and then you both end up at the same party or the same event and you weren't even expecting to see them there. It could be as simple as even like, I know this is a special event, but I could even see it being like you run into them at an, like an outdoor festival or you run into them at a concert or you run into them outside your local coffee shop when they're like, I don't know, running a special deal or something. Like it's some sort of special event where you weren't planning on running into this person, but bam, there they are. That could also be a possibility for this group. And then some of you also will go out on a lot of dates to special events together. So we have Cauldron. I do think a lot of you have tried to manifest this person. If you have someone that you've been trying to manifest, yes, that's just further confirmation that you picked the right group. We have Volcano. This is always a very straightforward message for me in terms of a love reading. A, it means there's a lot of passion, but it also means that things move really quickly. Um, Cause you think of a volcano, it can be dormant for so long and then bam, there's like all of this explosion and sudden change and fire and passion. So think of it, you could have known this person for a while and then out of nowhere, bam, things take a romantic turn, like one of you expresses their true feelings, or they ask you out on a date and you weren't expecting it. You know, you're hanging out as friends and then one of you ends up kissing the other person. It's like, it's that kind of energy of sudden change. Or for some of you, maybe you clicked on this reading because you were bored and you didn't even have anyone in mind, but you still watched it anyway. And you've been trying to manifest 
your soulmate, you don't even know who they are, and this is telling you actually, yes, they are coming in soon, your manifestation is on track. I got that message, so there must be someone who's watching this who doesn't even have a person in their mind. And we have Justice. I love Justice too in a love reading because that tells me this this connection is gonna be very fast. <laughs> Lord, I'm talking so fast because I'm so excited for you guys. Um, this met this connection is going to be very fair, very balanced, very equitable. Um, you're not going to feel like you're putting in all the work, all the effort, all the time. If there's someone like that in your life, that is not this person, okay? Um, if, Like I said, for some of you, you're thinking of multiple people and you're a bit confused. That's an easy way to discern who this is talking about if you are thinking of multiple people because... If someone isn't treating you fairly, if someone isn't giving you that balanced energy of give and take, that's not this person, okay? All right, and we will end with some Zodiac cards to help you guys out. So when I was pulling these cards, they don't. this doesn't necessarily have to be like your sun sign, their sun sign. This could be representing Sun, Moon, Venus, Mars, even the rising sign. Also, this could just be the dynamic, the energy that exists between you two. So we have Pisces and we have Scorpio, both water signs, both very intense energies. So Pisces is very dreamy, very romantic. This is bringing in the sentimental, you know, like rose-colored glasses in a good way. You know, it's a very sweet energy of where you both just really see the best in each other. And it's very mystical. This feels very magical. I could see that too with the volcano. It feels very magical in the sense of like nothing is happening. And then all of a sudden everything is happening as if by magic. Especially for those of you who have been trying to manifest. Um, but you both are just very compassionate towards one another. It brings in this element of spirituality. For those of you who are asking about soulmate connections, this is your confirmation that yes, this would be your soulmate. Or even like your twin flame if you were asking about that. And then I would say of course with the Scorpio and given that we have Volcano as well, this is bringing in that deep, deep sexual passion. This um, very, it's adding depth, right? Because this is very dreamy. This is adding the emotional depth. Um, you guys are really going to see each other in a very clear way. You're going to see past the superficial stuff. You're going to get to know each other on a soul level. Scorpio is all about the unseen. It's very mysterious. You know, Scorpio wants to get to the root of it. And so you're going to see each other and you're going to know each other in a very like primal, carnal way, but also in a very deep emotional sense as well. So there's just a lot of passion here. Um, the water energy is strong. There's a lot of emotional depth. This is not, um, you would you would think that too with a true love reading, obviously. Um, but there is just a lot of spiritual, emotional, and even, like I said, a sexual connection here as well. Everything um, is very deeply passionate. Okay, and that makes sense because you chose the like warm, spicy tea, <laughs> so I like that. Um, yeah, I think we will end. I didn't really have like a firm plan going into this. Oh, I remember, let's just end. Okay. So I have this serenity journal that I completely forgot all about. Years ago, I filled it up with a bunch of quotes. So let's just pick intuitively. I'll stop and just get like a little comforting message for you guys. This doesn't have anything to do with love. All right. Oh, I said this doesn't have anything to do with love. And then I opened <laughs> and then I opened on a love quote. Oh my gosh, y'all are just laughing at me. Your spirit guides are being very funny today. <laughs> okay, it says, we have to let ourselves be seen to experience love. In order for connection to happen, we have to allow ourselves to really be seen. Okay, the people who have a strong sense of loving and belonging believe that they are worthy of loving and belonging. So, 
I think that's definitely a pretty straightforward message from your spirit guides. And it kind of um, connects well with the Scorpio card. Remember when I said you guys will see each other in a very deep way, you'll get past all of the superficiality. Yeah, this to me is going back to in order to receive true love, in order to be open to love, we have to be able to be vulnerable to show our true selves to show up authentically um yeah to be seen so oh my gosh i love that for you guys all right pile one i hope this reading resonated my energy may have been all over the place i may have stumbled a lot over my words but like i said i'm not feeling super great today but i was really wanting to film this so i hope that you all enjoyed it I hope that it resonated. Please comment down below if it did. Let me know at least that you chose pile one. Um, yeah, and please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff. I truly do appreciate the support and it's been really, really cool to see the growth on my channel and see us developing a community because that was my goal. So yeah, please take care of pile one and I will see you in my next one. All right, all my pile twos who chose the Earl Grey black tea, welcome to your reading. All right, so is this person your true love? Let's see. We got not the right time and within the next few months. Okay, so when I was shuffling, these two cards came out together. Um, so that's why you have two cards as opposed to some of the other groups who just have one. Um, but don't, don't be upset, don't panic. <laughs> okay, so... We'll have to see as we go through the cards what the full message is, but right off the bat, what I'm getting from this is that the answer is yes, this person is your true love, but it's not the right time for you to, 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 to like come together into union. Also, I apologized in pile one, and I'll say this to you guys too, um, my energy is like all over the place. I'm like stumbling on my words a lot. It's because like I said, I don't feel that great today, but I really did want to film this. So please overlook it if you can. Um, but yes, so it's not that this person isn't your true love. It's just that right now the timing is off, but the timing will be right within the next few months. And one word I will say about this is given that this is a general reading and also that the future is never like set in stone like yeah some things are fated to happen but most things about the future are ever changing right at least slightly so this could be a bit sooner for some of you guys and for others of you it may be a bit longer but most of you are falling within the next few months this is going to happen. So for most of you, I would say definitely less than six months, okay? But let's see what else we have for you, pile two, since we didn't get a super clear answer. All right, so two of cups, this person is coming in. They are definitely going to give you, you know, two of cups is that fair, balanced, equal give and take, like the picture perfect, um, healthy relationship, you know, no relationship is perfect, but this is kind of like, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> okay. So this is a very positive card to come through. And then with the ace of cups here and the magician, yes. And this card right here really talks about expansion. So really, I would say this is for many of you someone that you're trying to actively manifest you've been praying for this person it's a new love with the ace of cups for sure you know maybe for some of you you are trying to manifest your ex back um, or someone that you used to know and it's you're hoping for a fresh start with them but i think for many of you this is a new love but either way you all are my manifestors, <laughs> absolutely. All right, let's see. Oh man, okay. We've got obsession, addicted to you. Is it love, obsession, or infatuation? Ask yourself if you can slow down or not allow your thoughts of them to consume you and just let love naturally unfold. Okay, so for many of you, this is calling back to that 
within the next few months card. So it's saying not yet. So if you're trying to manifest this person and you're really anxious and you keep thinking about it all the time, this is a message from your guides of saying, listen, like, yes, this is true love with this person, but like, I don't want to say don't ruin it before it happens, but don't, don't put so much pressure on this and kind of mess up a good thing before you even let it come into your life. So don't just be yourself, enjoy your life. This is going to happen when it's meant to happen and just let love naturally come to you. This is sort of um, like that card in the Romance Angels where it says, let go of control issues. This is what it's really saying. Let go of that need for control because the universe is really supporting this union. You don't need to worry so much. If you've put the intention out there that you would like to manifest your true love, then just accept that it's coming to you. You don't need to put all of this pressure on it and obsess over it. Like all of that negative mental energy is really wasted. So we've got motherhood. Take this time to mother your babies, creative projects, or entrepreneurial ventures. Wow, I <laughs> my words today entrepreneurial adventure ventures i almost said adventures i told you guys i'm all over the place today okay but more than anything don't forget to mother yourself okay this is a suggestion for how you spend your time in the meantime okay so it isn't saying like if you have children you need to take care of your kids it's not like that it's saying step into that empress energy step into that queen of wands energy and take some time and really focus on nurturing what makes you feel passionate, what makes you feel creatively fulfilled because that's gonna make the time go by faster and it's gonna help ensure that you don't feel miserable. Like you don't wanna just be sitting around waiting for this person to come in. Still live your life, okay? And then we have, oh boy, kids. Love can get real complicated when children are involved. Give them the space and time to sort things out and do the right thing. Oh, do the do the right things the right way, okay? So for some of you, this um, connection is delayed because of children. Either it's relating to your kids, if you have kids, or it's relating to them. I also think for some of you, this kids card is just suggesting to me that you all knew each other when you were younger and you're trying to manifest someone from your past. Um, for other, this card has a lot of possibilities, so I'm just trying to hit every one of them. Um, for others of you, it's just suggesting that you are eventually going to have kids with this person, and so that may, you know, end up down the line complicating the relationship, but in a positive way because you're growing together, right? You're literally growing a family, but you're also growing together. You know, I don't think anyone who is a parent wouldn't say that it's changed them or it's challenged them or, you know, it hasn't made them grow, right? Like every parent would probably say like, oh yeah, like I've had some challenges as a parent. Oh yeah, I've had to grow up a lot as a parent. Um, yeah, so I think that is all I'm getting from that card. Let's see what else we have. We've got chicken and we've got the dark with Sylvia Plath. Okay, this is kind of a funny message. So for some of you, this person, you, like you are on their radar, absolutely. But they've kind of been too chicken <laughs> to express their true feelings to you. Uh, maybe they've had a bit of commitment issues and that's why there's a delay because while you're ready, they are not ready and they have some more lessons to learn and that's why i said the time frame could change a little bit because maybe they hurry up and learn their lesson or maybe they drag their feet and it takes a bit longer okay and that could be you could be resonating with that message too you could be the one who is also afraid to come forward and say that you do have feelings for this person okay and then with the dark I think it's just a lot is unseen here and it's really asking you to connect to your intuition like just because you can't see something doesn't mean that it's not there 
okay? So that's the whole point of intuition, is that you just have to trust and have faith that this manifestation is coming in, that this connection is going to happen, even if you can't physically see it, okay? Okay, so we have Aquarius, the innovator. So with these zodiac cards, this is just the overall energy of the connection. Um, it could be representing your sun sign, their sun sign, but it could also be talking about Venus, Mars, the moon. Since it's a love reading, you kind of have to think of sort of the major placements that come into play in a romantic connection. But I would say with Aquarius, the innovator, when I think of a Aquarius, I do think of radical change. So it could be, like I said, um, you guys are friends and there's a big transformation where it develops into a romantic partnership. Also with Aquarius, you know, it's the card of the collective of the group. So I do think of friendship with Aquarius. And then we also have Gemini. So being that we have two air signs here, I do feel like you two when you do meet, if you don't already talk to this person regularly, your communication with them is gonna make this go so smoothly. Communication is going to be great. You guys are gonna have the same um, sort of speaking style. You're gonna understand one another. You're gonna have really fulfilling um, conversations with each other. You're gonna go beyond just, you know, like superficial topics. You're gonna get into um, art, philosophy, um, your values, things that you believe in, your experiences, things that you have learned. I mean, it's going to get, it's going to get, um, very in depth. Okay. And then I will say also with Gemini, for those of you who are asking about twin flames, this could be a confirmation that yes, this person is your twin flame. If that was a message that, um, I'm sorry, if that was what you were asking about, in terms of true love, then this is confirmation for you. I think also if you are asking about a soulmate, you know, soulmates tend to mirror one another. So that could also be a confirmation for my people who are asking about a soulmate connection. With the ninth house of Sagittarius, there's gonna be a lot of exploration. There's gonna be a lot of travel together, a lot of experiences. Um, it's going to be it uh, also brings in um, philosophy as well because Sagittarius is the teacher. So like I said, you guys are going to get into some really in-depth conversations. You're going to learn a lot from this person and they're going to learn a lot from you because we have the student, Gemini, and we have the teacher, Sagittarius, with the ninth house. Moon, there's going to be a great depth of feeling. You all got a lot of cards because it took me a while to get two zodiac signs compared to pile one. So I just kept taking all the cards that were coming. Um, and that also, because I think your guides were hesitant to share two zodiac signs with me, makes me think that there's some aspect, and also because we have the moon card here, there's some aspect of this connection that is still hidden from you that your guides don't want you to know yet. And that's why I think there's also a pause here where they're saying, it's just not the right time. There's some things that we have to keep hidden from you for right now until it's time for you to know. And we're asking you to trust with the moon, even though things are unseen, just trust your intuition and trust us to guide you. Okay, and then you also got numinous, mystery. Again, like it's just saying, trust us, trust us. This person's really going to um, transform how you see yourself. I, th I think this connection is going to bring about a lot of change, even in your basic identity, and not in a bad way. It's just that you both are learning so much from each other, and you're both teaching each other so much that is very transformative, even at your core level. You know, it's like a, a chapter of life before this person versus life after this person. It's completely transformative. It's a completely new chapter with this person and you yourself are changing just as they are changing for the better. So there may be some challenges and that's why we have that delay. Neptune, dreams, 
You could be getting psychic downloads about this person. You could be seeing them in your dreams. Um, you could dream about them before you even meet them or they could dream about you before you meet them. Um, also, I think with that Pisces energy, again, connect to that intuition because Pisces is very psychic. So your spirit guides are sending you messages, okay? They're sending you signs, sending you clues about this connection and they just want you to be open to receiving them. Yeah, this is a complex, <laughs> complex connection, especially compared to pile one. Okay, why don't we, I didn't do this for pile one, but I feel like because you all have a more complicated situation, let's just get some Romance Angels cards about pile two and this connection that they're asking about. Pile two and their true love. Information about this connection. Okay, so flirt. That's always positive. <laughs> Could be too. This is what you're current. You may be currently flirting with this person and you're like, is this going to go anywhere? Give your relationship a chance. Some of you are trying to manifest and manifest an ex back for sure. For others of you, maybe you have a crush on this person, but they're so different from your usual type that you're like, is this true love? Is this someone that I should pursue? I'm not sure. That could also be a message. Let your friends help you. For some of you, you're meeting this person um, you have met this person through mutual friends or your friends are just going to have really good advice or you're going to be spending some time with your friends while you're waiting for this connection to progress into a romantic partnership. And then of course, bottom of the deck, we've said it like a million times, just trust, <laughs> okay? This situation is calling for you to have faith. I would say also this message just came through um, some of you knew this person when you were young and they were an acquaintance or an old friend, but there was never a romantic connection there before. So maybe you knew this person in like high school or college or even like middle school. Maybe you grew up on the same block together, that kind of thing. <coughs> Sorry, guys. All right, so I'm going to end with a message from the Serenity Journal. Like I was telling Pile One, I filled this journal up years ago um, with a bunch of different quotes. And so I'm just going to intuitively pick a page and then read whatever, you know, like calls to my attention for you guys. Um, pile one did get a love message. That was not my intention. So it'll be funny if you all get a love message too. All right, pile two, pile two. Okay. <laughs> All right, decide what you want, believe you can have it, believe you deserve it, believe it's possible for you. Okay, decide what you want, believe you can have it, believe you deserve it, believe it's possible for you. So some of you, like I said, you're trying to manifest this connection. Maybe what is slowing it down is that you're not in the energy of receiving. Even though you're trying to manifest this connection, you don't feel like you deserve it. And so because you don't feel like you deserve it, it's delaying the connection. You have to believe that you're good enough. That could be a possibility. Okay. All right, pile two. I hope that this reading resonated. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for your patience with my scattered energy today. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you will always know when I upload. And let's see, oh, comment down below if you chose pile two. Um, I like to see, you know, kind of the ratio of like which group was the most popular. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next one. Please take care of pile two. All right, pile three, if you chose the peppermint tea, welcome to your reading. I don't know how this happens, but whenever I pull cards sometimes, pile one will get one card pile two will get two and then pile three will get three and it's not my intention i'm always looking for one card and then a bunch will fly out so because i always take um jumpers 
And so here we are, <laughs> pile three. So is this connection true love? Let's see. We got in the near future, wait and look for a sign. Okay, this is kind of similar to pile two. I, it's, it's coming off a bit different. In pile two, it was a yes, but the timing is not right. For you all, I'm not getting that. Okay, honestly, I'm, let's see what, what your cards say and then we'll come back to this because I, I have a suspicion because it says look for a sign. So I feel like, I almost feel like your guides want you to stay until the end of this reading and it's not a simple yes or no or it's an issue of timing. I feel like it's more than that. So let's go through and see. And I'm so sorry to keep you in suspense, but I don't wanna give you the wrong message. So let's, let's keep going. But there's something here with look for a sign that you are not currently seeing. So we've got the seven of diamonds. We've got the 10 of clubs, 10 of diamonds, ace of spades. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I know the message now, it's just a bit hard to deliver. Okay. I will say this disclaimer first. You have free will, okay? And if you ever hear something that really doesn't resonate in a reading, please don't take it to heart and don't feel like you have to, you know, what I'm saying is gospel because these are general readings, and if something doesn't resonate, please leave it. But I also ask you to be open to hearing things that may be hard to hear and that may challenge what you previously thought. But I will say if you click on a reading like this, it's usually because you either have some doubt or at least some curiosity um, you know, about a connection. So the message here what I'm getting so far is that the person you're asking about is not true love. You, it's not true love. It's not going to bring you the 10 of cups or the 10 of pentacles, happy kind of fulfilling energy. It's not gonna give you that. It's not gonna give you the world, okay? But because we have in the near future card and we have wait, your guides are urging you to not, not commit to this person that you're asking about because there is someone better who is coming in. There is someone that is better for you. And your guides really want you to keep your options open and don't commit to the person that you're asking about because your true love is coming in soon and your guides would hate for you to miss out on that opportunity because you're stuck on the person you're asking about. There is someone who's gonna come through and give you this energy and they wish that you wouldn't be so laser focused on the person that you're asking about. You're missing so much because you're so focused on hitting this target that you're completely missing your mark. You're not even aiming in the right direction. And again, I'm so sorry to have to deliver a tough message like that, but I mean, the upside is, is that your true love is coming in very soon. It's just not the person you were hoping it would be. Okay, let's see what else we have. I'm like anxious to get through the rest of the cards. Okay, love offer. A new love offer is on the horizon. Keep an open mind. It's the only way you can explore, create, and grow. Progress is impossible without change. Okay, <laughs> yes. There is a new person coming in with the love offer. This will be your true love, not the person you're asking about. We've got happy times, 
you're entering a happier cycle. You did the work and overcame so much. Now it's your turn to receive in a major way. It's time you've had enough lessons. This is, if you end it with this person you're asking about, if you completely cut them off, remove it from your life, remove all attachment to it, then you will end that cycle and you will start a new happier cycle where you will meet your true love. And then we've got love trip. Even with the car here, like moving in a better direction. Wherever you're going, make sure to use protection. <laughs> this love trip will be filled with passion and adventure. Enjoy it. You deserve it. So your guides are saying, you deserve true love. This ain't it. We have a better option for you. And there will be a lot of passion. And it will be your true love. It will be a happier cycle for you. Look at how carefree she looks. Okay. Man, okay, I'm so glad we got these or See what I said? Like, it was very unclear, and now it, it's like screaming at us. This is the message. Okay, let's see. What else we have? Oh, teacup. Okay, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck. The way that I read teacup is just a, like a gentle reminder to see the cup half full. So if you came into this reading and you're really, really disappointed that I said, no, this is not true love, choose to see the glass half full, choose to see the teacup half full because your true love is coming in. So focus on that part of the message and not this old cycle, okay? And then we've got braid. There's a lot that I think of when I think of this card. It's a bit of a bizarre card, right? But you know how like especially in like early 2000s 90s kind of like music videos where like even like Katy Perry I think kind of did this in like the part of me music video but in music videos when girls go through breakups they like cut their hair off <laughs> you know they do something dramatic or even like you can relate to that if you go through a tough time you like want to change your hair you want to dye it or cut it or something is this way of like reclaiming your power, reclaiming your identity, you know, trying to make an external change in the hopes that it will like create some internal change, like especially too, like if you were dating someone and they were obsessed with your long hair and you wanted to cut it but you never did because you were worried they wouldn't be attracted to you anymore and then you break up and you cut all your hair off and you feel amazing. That's the kind of energy that this card makes me think of. It's so dramatic, but it's so true. Especially if you're a female watching this reading, you can relate to that idea that like hair connotates so much in our society, like so much emphasis is put on hair and like, you know, this like policing of women and like how short their hair should be and it's so outdated, you know, that whole mindset. Um, but anyway, I think of that when I think of this card, I think of that reminds me of a new fresh cycle where you feel more empowered, where you feel stronger. And again, like you don't have to be a female or a woman or whatever watching this reading, but this card is just saying this is going to be a more empowering cycle for you and you're going to feel so much more authentic um, you know, to who you really are. You're going to feel more aligned with who you are because I think this person that you came to the reading asking about who isn't your true love, I do think that in some ways they have policed your identity or when you're around them, if you're really truly honest with yourself, you are not authentic in that relationship. You are not your real self. You know, maybe you change yourself a bit, you know, to kind of fit what they want. You alter yourself in some way, like you pretend to have hobbies that you don't really enjoy, you know, so you can be connected with them or, you know, maybe you change the way you speak or maybe you're a bit softer when you're with them or maybe you, um, you know, change the way you dress when you're around them. There's just something about it where you don't feel fully free. You know, like maybe you feel like you have to be a certain way when you're around that person and your guides are saying like, wait for the person, wait for your true love. They're coming in soon. 
this is the person where you can be fully yourself, where you can feel free and they're going to love you and cherish you and adore you just the way that you are. And you won't have to put on a mask to be with that person. You can be your authentic, true self and it's going to feel so good. All right, let's see what else we have. Okay, <laughs> so as I said with the other groups, this doesn't necessarily have to be like your sun sign and their sun sign. This could just be the energy of the connection and sort of the, the theme of the connection. It could also represent sun, moon, Venus, or Mars, okay? Now, <laughs> your, your group's a little bit different because... I feel like your guides are like, enough, enough, enough about their ex or like whoever they're asking about, enough about that person. Let's talk about this new love. Like your guides are like, enough with that old dusty chapter. I'm tired of like, <laughs> I'm tired of talking about it. Let's talk about the new love. So I do feel like this is representing your connection with this new person that your guides want you to be with. So we have Leo and we have Sagittarius fire energy coming in hot. <laughs> so Leos are definitely, as well as Sagittarius people are, they, they're confident, they stand in their power, you know, they show up in a room and they're like, here I am. <laughs> like, you know, Sagittarius people are a bit louder. Leo people are definitely, you know, it's the sun energy they're all about themselves in a healthy, like positive way. Um, but this to me is also connecting to this new person is going to be very compatible with you because we have two fire sign energies. And so I also feel like this person's going to encourage you, like I said, um, to express your truth because Sagittarius is all about the truth. And I think also here with like travel, and um, I also think of luck with Sagittarius because it rules Jupiter, which is the planet of luck and expansion. So I feel like there's just this overall energy of abundance and like we're so lucky that we met each other and, you know, let's expand, let's grow together and, you know, let's be who we are and then evolve and be even better. You know, it's that really enthusiasm. But I think also Leo being here, you're going to feel so confident around this person. Um, they're going to be very generous with you and you're going to be equally generous with them. Leo is a very generous sign. Um, there's a lot of creativity here, a lot of expression. Um, everything just feels very bright and bubbly and happy and let's have fun and let's explore and let's be playful and let's act like we're kids and like let's just have fun and Everything is very, um, like I said, very expansive with this person. And then Pluto, so yeah, deep, deep transformation. Again, that to me is echoing the braid card. Um, so when you close out that old cycle, you're gonna be leaving behind the old and entering the new, and it's gonna feel, I said this in pile two, and I think I'll say it again for you all, maybe there are some messages in pile two for you as well, but, um, it's gonna feel like, okay, we're closing out an old chapter and now we're starting a brand new chapter. And so it's like life before this person is so radically different than life after this person. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then for some of you, this card over here, it could be either way since this is a general reading. For some of you, the person that you're asking about is an air sign. Um, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, and you're leaving them behind. For others of you, this could be the new person. Just take what resonates, but I don't like to get too specific with zodiac signs because I don't know if you guys watch a lot of tarot readings, but it's kind of like a little pet peeve of mine when I sit and like a reader will go through every zodiac sign they see, especially if there are a lot of cards because I'm like, man, like by the time you get through all the tarot cards and whatever oracle cards you pulled, you basically named the whole zodiac wheel. There's only 12 zodiac signs. Like, I don't know why we keep reading out all these signs. So I don't typically do that in readings because eventually like a lot of signs will come through because especially since it's a general reading, but that's just my little like rant about that. <laughs> 
Okay, let's actually, I didn't do this for the other groups, but I kind of want to get a love story oracle to end you guys. All right, let's see, pile three. And this new person. Any messages about pile three and their new person, the true love that is coming in? Messages from their true love. Okay. Aw, I love this. This is perfect. So, so perfect. Okay. Hope and trust. <laughs> I don't think we could end on a better energy than hope and trust. So your guides are saying don't lose hope just because the person you came to this reading asking about is not your true love doesn't mean that true love isn't out there for you. In fact, true love, like we said, is coming in very soon for you. We just ask that you trust us. That's all that your guides are asking is just trust them. They know what they're doing. Okay, so to end, 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 <laughs> um, I was telling the other groups that I wrote a bunch of quotes in this serenity journal years and years and years ago, forgot all about it and found it the other day. So I'm going to intuitively pick a page at random and then we will read whichever quote jumps out to me. Pile one got a love quote. I was not planning that obviously. Pile two got a quote that was very relevant to them. So hopefully we'll be just as lucky and you all will get another really great message. Okay, so pile three, pile three, okay. <laughs> oh, I love this so much for you guys, okay. The universe always says yes. Now, <laughs> appreciation in advance brings everything you want to you. This is, this may seem like a very vague message, but this to me is saying, we're, we always say yes to you. We may not say yes in the way that you expect us to, and we may not say yes exactly when you want us to, but we always say yes. This means that even though you were hoping today that you would come to this reading and I would say to you, yes, this person is your true love, even though today was technically a no, the universe is still saying yes to you because they're still going to grant you your true love. They're still going to put you into alignment, put you in connection with your true love. It's just not going to be the person that you thought it was gonna be and it's not gonna be at the same, like the, the timing that you expected. But it is coming to you. And it's saying that if you express gratitude, if you say, thank you universe for bringing me into connection with my true love, thank you universe for, you know, allowing me to share in a relationship with my true love. If you express that gratitude now for a person who hasn't, who hasn't actually shown up in your physical world yet, you will manifest this person even faster. Okay, so I love that message for you, Pile 3. I hope it made sense. Um, but yes, if you like this reading, comment down below. Let me know that you chose Pile 3. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you always know when I upload. Like I said with the other two groups, I've been very scattered today. I haven't been feeling my best, so... Thank you for your patience through this reading. If I was a bit all over the place, I apologize, but I hope that you still enjoyed the reading. Um, I will see you guys in my next one. Please take care, Pile 3.